from Studio One in New York, it's Katie. time for Katie's Toolkit, and today we're talking about fall fashion. I love this time of year, but it, it also creates a bit of a closet conundrum. Are there ways to stretch summer styles into the new season? And what are the hottest new looks for fall? Because honestly, I have no idea. Liliana Vasquez is the style expert and founder of Cheap Chicas. Dot com. Welcome, Liliana. Nice Hello. to see you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. All right, so it's fall. Do we all need to run out and buy new fall uh, a new fall wardrobe? Absolutely not. I know all the magazines push you to do that, but no, it's all about kind of finding these easy and affordable ways to extend the life of those summer staples. And so what are the keys to maximizing your wardrobe all year round? Well, I think you have to shop smart and you have to shop with purpose when you're shopping for items in your closet. And it's also about the way you put things together. That's how you're really adding value to your closet. So unexpected pairings, smart layering, and also recycling the clothes that you already have, which is what we're doing today. And in fact, you brought along some models I to did. show us how we basically take some classic summer looks mm -hmm. and morph them into fall, which is a great idea, I think. Because yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're so. going to start. This is Kia. Hi, Kia. Hey, Kia. And she is in a classic summer staple. I mean, how many of you guys have a pair of white jeans already in your closet? And if you don't, this is the perfect time of year to buy them. I found these on clearance for $24.99 at American Eagle. Wow, so yeah. you, but I always thought you can't really wear white jeans after Labor Day, but obviously that's not true. That's one of the rules we're breaking on the Katie Show today. <laughs> Next up is, is Cameo, yes. right? All right, so tell us about what Cameo is wearing. So Cameo is in one of my favorite trends from the summer, which is this bohemian chic. So the key element here is the maxi skirt. This one's gorgeous. It's done in a really bright, bold pink color. And you're thinking, hot pink for fall? What is she gonna do with this? But this is a look that you probably wore on the boardwalk at the beach, and we're gonna show you how to transition it to summer. Okay, This excellent. skirt is from BB. All right, thank you, Cameo. And last is Kimberly. And she's in one of the big looks for summer. You know, graphics, black and white, yes. uh, were very big for summer. So tell us about this dress. And so she is in this fabulous black and white dress from Macy's. It's under $100. And again, this is the kind of dress that you could have worn to a wedding this summer. Maybe you wore it to an event. But I'm going to show you how it looks so appropriate for fall coming up. All right, so what are some of the... Thank you, Kimberly. What are some of the things to think about when, it, when, you, when you see these things in mm -hmm. your closet and you think... Gosh, I don't want to buy a whole new wardrobe, but I want to be able to mix and match these pieces and make them more appropriate for fall. Totally. So I think it's really about what you don't do. So what you don't want to do with your summer stuff is pair it with summer type fabric. So like linens and cottons. So a white jean, don't pair that with a linen shirt for the fall. So you want to avoid those kind of things that feel and look like summer. You also want to avoid mixing in two really bright colors or neon. You want to look for bold colors in the fall. You want to look for colors that are saturated and that's what's really going to extend the life of those clothes. All right. So how do you take these pieces and transform them for fall? Lily Anna is going to tell us and show us mm -hmm. right after this. stylish Liliana Vasquez and she's here to tell us how to save money on fall fashion by repurposing our summer looks. So I'm so happy you're here because I've been so busy I don't know what is in for fall Liliana and you know I don't know why the fashion shows are always about spring fashions and I'm like what's going on I haven't even bought anything this fall. It's totally counterintuitive you're seeing spring clothes in September and going wait am I supposed to wear that now or next year? You're supposed to wear it next year but today we're going to show you what you're supposed to wear this season. Okay so some of the trends are denim on denim and mm -hmm. you're wearing one of the trends. Yes. So, and and it's specifically coated denim. So yes. what is this all about? Okay, so coated denim is really hot. You saw it really last season, but it was really expensive. So now it's gotten much more affordable. So coated denim is just adding a wax coating to your regular denim jeans to make them feel and look like leather. So it's a great way to get that trend for less. And then I'm wearing a denim shirt with my denim jeans, which all the celebrities have done. We have a photo of Rihanna. She's always in denim on denim here. So she's got the jean jacket there, the shirt with the pants. I prefer a little bit more contrast. 
So a lighter denim shirt with a darker denim bottom is the All way right. to do that. So denim. Denim is, on is, denim. Is huge. Okay. okay. Another trend is monochrome monochromatic monochromatic and this season it's all about white on white and you said this you said I don't like to wear white after Labor Day because we've been told for so many years don't wear white after Labor Day well today we're breaking the rules you can wear white after Labor Day the trick is that you well, want winter white right exactly winter white so you want to mix different <laughs> textures <laughs> she totally does she said she didn't know the trends and she does no but so, mix texture and mix tone of white so you can do a cream or an ivory with a bright white this is a, a, an example of a monochromatic look so yeah. it, does it always have to be white or can you be monochromatic you can be with other mo shades in any color you want it's just that this season in particular it's all about the white hot monochromatic look okay now the next look I have no idea what this word is the <laughs> motto jacket what I'm sorry okay so it's the moto jacket oh. so it's a motorcycle jacket oh. Okay. okay, so we have a motorcycle jacket. <laughs> Here we have Amanda Seyfried in one. She looks gorgeous. You could do it in classic black, which I recommend if you're only going to buy one, buy it in black so you can wear it with everything. But it's all about adding those edgy rocker details. So it kind of gives any of your looks less of kind of a girly feminine feel. It makes it feel more downtown and hip and cool. So, so moto, not moto. moto. Okay, yeah, we can all right. Call it moto. <laughs> and also cobalt blue is very in this fall. Yes, everyone always asks, what is the one color I should add to my wardrobe the new for the new season? It's cobalt blue this season. So Sofia Vergara is wearing it here. Cindy Crawford looks gorgeous in a cobalt blue blazer. What's great about this color is that it mixes beautifully with black and white, which you probably already have in your closet. And it also looks good on every single skin tone. All right, now we're ready for the models yes. that you have tr transformed from summer looks mm -hmm. to fall looks. So let's look at Kia and how you made her ready for autumn. Okay. Kia, so, come on out. So this is Kia in her before look. You're seeing her in her white jeans and her bright green sweater. This is Kia in her after look. So she is pulling off the Work monochromatic Kia. trend. I know, she's gorgeous. Like, yeah. This is a really easy way. All we did was switch the top, but if you notice, there's beautiful texture on this sweater. This is from Macy's, and it's all about adding that rich, luxurious texture. And if you notice, I kept the same shoe from the before photo. I'm calling these the Pika boots. So Pika boots are all about having cutout details. So they could be slits or cutouts like these, and they look fantastic for fall, and you can even wear them with tights later on in the season. Okay, Kia, you look great. Next up, we have Cameo. All right, this is what Cameo was wearing. Obviously, we were talking about the maxi skirt. Yes. We saw Cameo before, and now Cameo has got her maxi skirt ready for fall. She does, and so all we did here was layer two of the biggest trends for fall. The first being plaid, but we did plaid in a more feminine color palette. Typically, you see tartans in greens and reds and blues. This is softer, and then we added the moto jacket here. This one's from H&M. It's under $200, but I want to point out, it's real leather. If you're going to buy a motorcycle jacket this season, buy one that's real leather so that it really lasts over time. You want to add value to your closet, and look for those really cool details, like the buckles and the zippers and then the quilted details at the shoulder make this one very cool. All right, Cameo, thank you. You look fantastic. And last but not least, we have Kimberly. So Kimberly was wearing what was a very hot trend for summer, black and white, very graphic. And now, ah, that cobalt blue makes an appearance. Exactly. So all we did was add this gorgeous cobalt blue blazer from shopbop.com. And it's such an easy thing to throw over any dress you have. But I also want to show you one of my top stylist secrets. So Kimberly, will you take the jacket off for me? Remember I talked about smart layering before? Oh, it looks so cute. Right? So all you need to do is find a really thin turtleneck. I got this one at Target for $9.99 and layer it under any dress that's a shift and it has a high crew neck like that. And all of a sudden, you turn all of your summer dresses into fall dresses for $10. You also changed your nude shoes into yeah. heavier shoes exactly. for fall. Exactly. You want to look for a heavier, darker, rich shoe like this. And the ankle strap is also one of the hottest trends in footwear for fall. So this is a great way to pull it off and it looks beautiful with the black and white and that cobalt. You have to be a little careful where those straps hit though, Liliana. Yes. Don't you? Because they can really make shorten your legs. Yes, so for the sure. Gate and them. I'm very short, so I'm super self-conscious about this. You do not want your straps to go up way above your ankle. You want to keep it right at the ankle, below the ankle, or if you're going to go above the ankle, go like half an inch above the ankle, unless you're, you know, five foot seven and up, and then you can pull off anything, and I'm really jealous. And in that case, we hate <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, and we don't like you. Right. <laughs> Kimberly, thank you so much. And I think the models look all terrific. Right? And before we go, what is the one what is the one thing for fall you really need to have in your closet this year? Okay, I hate picking favorites, but if I have to pick one, I'm going to pick the moto jacket. And the only reason I say that is because I feel like it's totally universal. It doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your style or your budget, there's one out there for you. All right, Liliana Vasquez, always great to thank see you. you. Thank Good you so you much. Ladies, thank you. You guys look great.
And a huge thank you.